What is this? 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 Paper five, people call me Paper Five. I'd like people to call me Paper Five, but, but my my name. my real names are Ian Martin Wanjohi. Mm. Yeah. Those are my nickels. Why? You never knew that. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Um I have other names. I think I'll call you Ian from now on. Yeah, sure. No problem. Alright. Um I'm a student, I'm an entrepreneur. What what are we doing? What is this? What is this? Uh, this is a podcast, mm, the you? first of its own kind, mm-hmm. the first of it's a ground groundbreaking concept mm. here back in Kenya. We are based in Kenya actually. So back to what I was saying about me. I'm a student. I'm also an entrepreneur. Um, I'm also a tech geek. Mm. I'd like to think of myself that way. I also. I'm a music connoisseur. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm a music connoisseur. Mm. <laughs> for those who don't know that. <laughs> this is a dictionary. Connoisseur. For connoisseur. Those, connoisseur. <laughs> mm. For those who don't know that, uh, please use your Google <clears throat> Translate uh, dictionaries, whichever. Uh, I'm multilingual. I speak Kikuyu Chinese. Uh, Chinese. A bit of French. Manjing, sorry. Mm. A bit of French. English, needless to say, and uh, I think that's basically it. Mm. Yeah. Eh, so the pressure, <laughs> the pressure to say things. Okay. Um. So my name is Sandra, Sandra Martini, and I'm from the coastal region, to our coast. Wait, when you say coastal region, yeah, like coast is big. Massa. Coast you is know, big. Even, even Mandera is in coast. True. <laughs> Kenya coast. Hey. Oh, okay. So I'm from Mombasa, hey. and yeah, we believe you're not in Kenya. Did so. you vote for Joho? Yes, the Sultan. County is Sultan and Sultan. So County is Sultan. Um, and then so what else? I'm a student. Um, a blogger. Where do you study? USA, Africa. Yeah, okay, we are saying university. I was going to go to that university. <laughs> hey, <do you> mind? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. So um yeah, my major is IR, but then so I blog and I do YouTube. And yeah, I love you do YouTube. Tell yeah. us your YouTube channel. So the Malkia Diaries. Diaries. The Malkia Diaries. Yeah, Make the sure to follow that. Follow that. <laughs> and what else? What else? You tell us. I can't say like connoisseur and all that stuff. Yeah. Because but you just yeah. learned it today. <laughs> I love reading books and I'm like your typical introvert. Mm. Yeah. So I'm just like the typical introvert. Oh, really? So yeah. how many friends do you have? Goody two shoes. I have like five good friends. Half of those are? All of them are girls, are they? Yeah. No, no, no. You don't have boyfriends? <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, so I think it, you you're done, Sandra. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Right, can go to Grace. Hey, okay. Um, Grace Una Sifuma. Sifuma is my family name, but people call us Sif. Um, I'm I'm currently working. I love programming. I'd love to be that hey, that lady in Kenya who's known as the best programmer. Mm. I hope to get there soon. Um, I'm an entrepreneur too. Um, I don't talk a lot. Mm, <laughs> yes, I don't talk a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm a party pooper. So I don't. Mother him. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't party like I used to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, like you used to. So yeah, that means like you used, used to. to okay. like, like crazy. That's it. Mm. Oh, I love playing Scrabble. Scrabble. I can beat you any day. Yeah, sure. Any day. So you're Try me. Like <laughs> 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 you guys, I have a board game at home and I've never known how to play that. Oh, you should bring it along. 
that's crumpled thingy. Yeah, wow. besides, besides yeah, games, so the... do you also play niggas? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Very important question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think it's Victor's turn now. So, my name is Victor. Don't take forever, by the way. I am the most talkative in the group. I am Victor Mwe. I'd like I'm, to think that. Yeah, I'd like to think that I am the most. I think to... irritative is the word. Iri- yeah, actually, <laughs> nag- nagging, nagging probably. Nagging yeah. is the word. It's good you know. Yeah, I actually know this, and mm-hmm. it helps me a long way. So I am a student. I am a computer science student, but that's not the name it goes by where I learn. And uh, above Which all, is... yes, are you right? And above all, I love. I really love music a lot. A lot. I oh, and also I also make music. Uh, I am a songwriter too. So uh, basically, I'm a musician. Let's say I'm a musician. Yeah, that's that's my five minute, one minute bio. Wait, you guys, I watch music. I don't know if we should just take rest for a moment. Uh huh. Like yeah, it's fine. Like we're yeah, talking about you, you said like you're a musician. Uh, yeah. Have you ever like studied anything related to music? Actually, I uh, know I have not. Like formally, I have not formally studied. Are you music. planning oh. to do that? I think it is in my maybe five year plan to study music think, at some like, point. Someone is not a musician until they've studied. No, no. no. If as yeah. long as you can make music, the beat is. The Beatles never knew how to play and any shit. Read, reading music. Yeah. Like you give them a piece of music that's written, mm-hmm. they can't play it. Mm-hmm. So and they are the best, arguably the, the best. best rock band in, of this, okay. of, yeah. yeah, of the twentieth wow. century. So it, it really doesn't matter whether you formally <laughs> study music. Although st- studying music gives you just a slight edge above over people who who are self-taught or learn through apprenticeship and other ways. So yeah, yeah. For those who don't learn at all. For those who don't learn at all, mm. yeah, let's say that. So, I think we have been very rude. We have not said what we are doing. This is oh, podcast. we had to start. No, we had to start with who we are first. Yeah, who we because are. the podcast is run by human beings. Right? Yes. yes. So we are as, as you had this paper, Sandra, Grace, and myself, Victor. This is the podcast by the name of What Is This. Yeah. It is a Kenyan podcast. Mostly, can we say it focuses on the Kenyan scene? Yeah, Kenyan uh, music scene. Music, the uh, one in trenches, the one that is bleeding, the one that is coughing. Mm-hmm. It's like it, it has pneumonia. Yeah. 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 You know, I was reading an it's article Kenyan yesterday music. and it said um, Kenyan music is out of tune. What? Why? How? Yeah, like it Let us discuss that. What does that mean? Like that it is out of tune. Out of tune. Mm-hmm. And then it says how Kenyan music have always just. Um, copied like other styles oh. of music from other places, no. and how it's it keeps rising and and falling, rising and falling. But I never understood the out of tune part. No. Right now, even. right now, can you say we are uh, up or down? I. Hey, no. we are, uh, are we at the top or are we slack? We, we, we are not up. We not up. Clearly, we are not. We are not up. They have, we have very many. I have. I personally have very many examples of why that is the case. We're not up. I think in my in my in my <coughs> opinion, mm-hmm. the time we, I'd like to call it the golden age. The golden era. Mm-hmm. The golden era. Early two thousands. Um, is uh, mm-hmm. that was our time. Mm-hmm. That was when we had a sound. But I think we still do have a sound. Chill. Mm-hmm. Our sound is called disorganization. <laughs> currently, our sound, our theme sound is disorganized noise. Okay, mm-hmm. I can't okay, say but, noise. But the, the That's songs the sound. that time were really good. Yeah. The songs I that time were yeah. yeah, I think everyone yeah. can. Nobody can has ever said that because the songs that time I don't think they listen to Kenyan music apart from Sauti Sol right now. Sauti Sol is just one, one of the biggest <laughs> bands that are there right now. But there, it's not like... Uh, it's not like South Soul is the only Kenyan Kenyan is the only Kenyan let's say music entity that is doing a lot yeah, or yeah. doing the most because there, there's good music out here. Yeah, but it's not. I out think there. what they mean out of tune <laughs> is, you see, like I think in a club you can I mean, not even in a club anywhere you'll hear a song and know that song is Tanzanian or Nigerian. Oh, Meaning, Nigerian, it's definite. And even even I think South African you South can Africa tell a South African song. No. With beats. No. 
Okay, let's say their house music has a signature yeah, sound. Yeah, quite, 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 quite has a signature sound. Bongo has a signature sound. The music from Tanzania. I think every every music in Africa is identifiable. Identifiable. I think you can tell an Ethiopian song by hearing it. There's just certain instruments. Then the thing I think why Kenya is lagging behind is because. You see, Nigeria, Nigeria in the 60s and 70s had high life, and high life grew into what we have now as Afropop and uh, all these, the wave of Mr. Easy and uh, uh, Mr. Easy, Whiskey, Davido, all those, it grew from high life and progressed. But us, we, ne- we had a sound, Zilizo Penwe in the 60s and 70s, but we never progressed to where the sounds became modern. And I never think that evolved. we never evolved. Yeah. And the I think that the, pro- the sound never evolved. And I think that is the problem. And One of the main problems. Yeah. And even the culture, because even South Africa, uh, there, there's that <coughs> culture for, um, they use the mother tongue. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. even one of the best-selling artists in uh, South Africa, Casper Nyovest, my personal favorite African musician, Casper mm. uses his mother tongue to in even his albums. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So as here Kenyans, okay, sometimes we do, but I don't think we do it to the best of our ability. Main, mainstream now. How many songs can you say? Who's mainstream right now? Kadiga. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me t- three verses off the top. Ya Kiswahili. Damn. <laughs> Actually, that's quite difficult. Not in Swahili. Exactly. Actually. No, okay, let's even use his mother tongue. Uh, let's, Actually, there. Let's assume that he, 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 he's, he's from the west, uh, the lake, lakeside, right? Yeah. Okay, give me a verse. I've from, never had even. I don't think I, I, I have, I can't yeah. remember yeah. what. A single. Yeah. No, we have one. Okay. We have, we have a culture of not, a culture of not liking our own culture. That's mm-hmm. culture. I, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. So, and I think, I think even like, uh, there, there has not been, apart from the gospel industry, there has not been mainstream songs that are in vernacular, fully thing, vernacular. True. The thing about not appreciating our culture, mm-hmm. how many people do you think are going to show up for Giuliani's um, four day concert? I think people will show up. People? His yeah. fans will show up. His fans will, will show up. More than Mr. Izzy's. Okay, Definitely let me tell you. Know. Let me tell you. There's okay. There's there's about there's there's a, there's, there's there, those are two different people and two yeah. different waves of yeah, artists. not even waves. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mister Easy. There was a bunch. There was a there was a whole group promoting that event, I, right? I, I, uh, yeah. There was money pumped into that event, I right? So you can't compare Mr. Easy and Giuliani because Giuliani probably is using limited resources. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. and that that uh, it's a, an it's an album launch. I, I, I yeah. saw Musioka posting something about that. Oh, he's on the album. Yeah, he's he's worked with him mm. on the album. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So there's you can have very many fans, but there's also the marketing side of it. Mm-hmm. There's also how long has have they marketed? Mr. Easy has been people knew since last, last last year, year in December. Sometime last year is when we knew yeah. about Mr. Easy. Exactly. And it happened so, like a few weeks ago. So yeah. so yo nigga, this one is supposed to be This is actually this is actually Sakini. <laughs> oh shit. All okay. right, we'll talk about his song an, another time. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So now we have Yeah. So I think we have now dis- we have now decided as as a, as four groups of people I mean four individuals that the Kenyan sound is not really there but I can tell you what the Kenyan sound is right now mm-hmm. I think after Goody Goody by Naiboy yeah. and Christoph every song that has hit in Kenya sounds the same and then it's just you don't know the I, I feel like you don't know Goody Goody you see you don't and know you that see song? And you see, this is how we are saying Kenyan, Kenyans don't appreciate their own music. Yeah. But I don't. I, I, I like to uh, uh, put coast people as oh, Kenyans. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that is probably true. Coast, <laughs> coast, coast don't, don't consume Kenyan. music as Better the same Kenyans. as Kenyans. We're not Kenyans. Nah. Yeah, you're just saying it. You're just saying it to the introduction. Yeah. And then another thing, I feel like. This artist, Kenyan artists, perform a lot, but we are just not informed. Because you can get like in a week, maybe Mdoni, Drama Queen was somewhere in Kilimani, but people don't know. You see, it's only her fans, or maybe oh. people following her. Goody, goody. So, yeah, just a few people. <laughs> 
I'm saying it's happy. Oh yeah, that's goody goody. Yeah, that's goody goody. That's a slight preview. And that's and that's and that's the Kenyan sound because I think every song after that sounds like well, tries to sound like But let me let me take it. Yeah. Yeah. Because like you you don't expect us to be so active and then there's nothing happening. Like events mostly are in Nairobi, mm-hmm. like every single thing is in Nairobi. No one ever comes to coast, literally. Chris Brown coast. Chris Brown came to Diamond, coast. Diamond, yeah, Chris, Chris Brown, Brown is not Kenyan. Chris Brown is not Kenyan. You say Kenyan? Yeah. Uh-huh. Diamond is, is from Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> a, a boy from Tandale. Yeah. It's quite fine. I, I listen to the album, it's quite good. But like, yeah, I don't know, let's, let's I don't even know why. With this thing, <laughs> no, I don't even know why it was launched in Kenya, is my thing. Because if, if By he a was... Kenyan company. If he was launching... An album from, I mean, uh, paying homage to where he's from. Tandale is, I think, the no, I neighborhood think in European. It was, it was exclusively launched in Kenya. Yeah. No, but he, I think he had launched it somewhere else. I don't know. Okay. I, I, don't I also don't have those facts. But I think the first time I had the album, it was like two days after it was released, and I had it on Spotify. Mm. And 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 I was I was also wondering why he hadn't like done a mega concert in Tandale like promoting his the like to release his album there. Nika doesn't even live in Tanzania. Really? Yeah. yeah. That one doesn't you know? Oh, oh, he just he just goes to <laughs> <laughs> he just goes to Tanzania to impregnate socialites from Tanzania. Shout out to Diamond. Man. Like, the nigga is living the life. Hey, away anyway, from Tandale. That's his. That's life. besides yeah. the yeah. point. Life, but yeah. he's a good musician. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To say. I don't. Okay, we can go into the debate of that, but I think he's a, he's a very good showman. No, he isn't. He's a showman. very good musician. If we have to showman. discuss um, Tanzanian artists, just two of the biggest who we know off the top of our heads, we would say Alikiba and, Ali Kiba and Diamond. Diamond. I don't think anybody can stand in front of me and tell me that Diamond is more talented than Alikiba. Alikiba has the voice, yes, and like the performing thingy, but then Diamond, like. I haven't listened to his Diamond songs. Diamond is like a he, showman. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The songs he writes yeah. are just something else. I, but she I've, and then he knows how to like engage his his showman, fans. Showman. That's because what Alikiba I'm will release a song today. Release it against G next year. Showman. Sure. Showman. I'm no, when you say showman, it's a bad. It's a bad. <laughs> no, it's not like he. No. He knows how to handle the show. Like show. No, what a showman oh. is. Maybe she never got. It. Like someone who will go perform in a show and you and you'll be like what? what? Oh, yeah. Even if yeah. the songs are trash, she'll just be like, oh my goodness, that performance like, was so good. Yeah. I thought showman is just those people to give you hype, but then they don't give you something. No, 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 no. Oh, Okay. Yeah. So I think we can say that Diamond is a good. He's he's one of the better show, showmen that we have around in this yeah. country. Uh, <laughs> What else are you saying? Do a rundown on the on the on the Kenyan. Mm, Since we are talking about Kenyan, yeah, let's start with Kenyan, yeah, let's start yeah. Kenyan and then <coughs> can we can, yeah. So we can start with how it all began. Mm-hmm. I, I I was reading this book called uh, I've I've forgotten the name. Mm-hmm. Pardon, but it's a history of Kenyan music mm-hmm. from the early nineties. I uh, early nineteen early. 1990s, mm-hmm. I mean 19, <laughs> early last century, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> early last century, 1900s, 1900s, uh-huh. oh. yeah. to now, <laughs> to now, uh-huh. to 2010, okay, yeah, I've forgotten, I actually saw it on the conference we went, oh, on their summit, on their summit, uh-huh. I actually saw it there, mm-hmm. so I was reading it online, so, how like music started and all that so initially the white people actually you know umg was in kenya oh really yeah the, why did they leave because uh, yeah i don't know uh-huh. i don't know uh-huh. only they know mm. so umg was in kenya and they started um uh, like getting this guitarist uh, from coast actually coast is where early Kenyan music started. Mm. Yeah. So <laughs> but that was, that was the first point of entry even for the, the yeah. F- yeah the first because they were performing the for the uh, for the tourists who were coming there. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't really know what happened between 1900 and 1950, but after we got an independent, Zilizopene is what was running the game. Yeah. 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 
Even I think some song. There is even a station for just playing Zilizo Pendo. Okay, like uh, uh, from information KB. This is KBC. I don't know. Okay, VOK. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. VOK. Okay. <laughs> Voice of Kenya. That was KBC before. Yeah. Uh, but I'm <laughs> branding or. And then uh, after Zilizo Pendo is when we started. I think hip hop was born yeah. in America. Of, no, that was in America and then it trickled it's, down here. Mm-hmm. So early uh late 1990s that's when Akina Jokali started. Yeah. Kali Calif, uh Calif actually signed a bunch of artists. Um Jokali Munini hey, uh, this other guy who's in Holland I've forgotten his name. The guy Flex um, they need to move away. Yeah, yeah. He's no longer around. No. And that's a, no, that's the thing with so every Kenyan artist. And then that's in my in my in my opinion, that's when we had the golden age. The, during the 2010 because I think, 2010. I mean the 2000s. Because yeah. I think <laughs> at that then we were participating in Kora Awards. We had Chango Latinis. Chango Latinis. We had like oh, yeah. Chango Awards. We had, we had, we had awards. <laughs> we had incredible awards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that award. Why the fuck? Yeah, like just some. Major shit, yeah. but like, I but these days, what awards are there? Kisima awards. <laughs> Who I don't know. It's laughable. Like, I don't know. Kisima don't awards know. is laughable in because Kenya, no, maybe in Africa, like what awards? They, they, uh, they, even MTV, MTV yeah. Mamo. They, they're still there. Yeah. 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 So that's, there. Damn, they happen. I yeah. didn't even know they still happen because the the time they were, um, I mean, they had like started at the whole African thing is when they even held one in in Nairobi. Yeah. There was an, a, a mama held in Nairobi. And the other one was I think in Ghana. I think in Nigeria then it went to South Africa and somehow it never left South Africa and that is the, um, during those war who was winning yeah. the unit were winning actually niggas, uh, were, win- yeah. Yeah, niggas were winning this shit yeah, and yeah. all of a sudden there's nothing we have nothing to show for it the industry has not we have no awards first of all and the awards that are there are ba- barely we barely know about them I think there's one called Golden Mike Mm-hmm. And only it's a hip hop one. You know that, right. yeah, in Kenya. Or I've had something, some golden, right. some golden something in Kenya. You see, award should be known. Oh yeah, yeah, it should. I think there's something like that because my pal sent me that um, the Omnet. They were nominated in that. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, to be shout out to Omnet. That's a great podcast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we were at the Golden Age, which the golden is age. from 2000 to 2000. Five, five six. six yeah i don't really know what happened i, I don't know what happened because okay i think this this i i wrote it down mm. so uh 2003 isa died oh r.i.p rest yeah in rest in peace to the good legend the good goods yes. yes um 2004 prezo was really hot oh, prezo really yeah, came yeah. he was really hot yeah and then he he was he was iconic in the sense that he brought the celebrity culture mm. like uh renting out a helicopter just and he, exactly. To go for Chabo Latinese, yeah. yes. like, and, and, and then, yo, actually, let's talk that, about that. Chill, that really brought about the flashiness and all. So that was a golden age. Yo. If we stuck to our guns, yo. we will have like rich people. Like, mm. look at Chameleon. Chameleon. Yo, Chameleon. Chameleon is rich as fuck. He's rich as, and he's that. He has that persona of mm. celebrity and flashiness. Prezo, see? let's talk about Prezo hiring a chopper yeah. for Chabo Latinese. The nigga literally flew from Wilson Airport. Those of you living in Nairobi know Wilson Airport to Kanyo in a chopper. <laughs> yo, talk of being extra. Yo, yeah, yeah, that's being extra. That that's being extra. But he was the in thing at that time with his rings. Yeah, and his, like, yeah, but like that. Okay, you, this, if you, you know, can be in, uh, if you know, and not be extra. Yeah, but like if you know the <laughs> yeah, distance, no, if big, you know the distance yeah. between Carnival and Wilson, and Wilson is like, like um, literally next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. They're next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Five minutes. Yeah, as it, <laughs> like as you know, <laughs> when, when you're walking away. walking from your place to the school school yeah, gate, yeah. that's a distance. Yeah, as in and he's new, <laughs> and that was like like a really. I big can even quote the the lyrics from Carnival to, I mean from Wilson to Carnival in Lipa sixty thousand. Yeah. Oh, there's a song. Yeah. Chapa. Yeah, I mean, no, like Chapa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and, and that was then we needed we, that. We needed that. That is when we, we were can, really popping. Mm-hmm. That is when we were like it, we, are, we were actually be- better than Tanzanians because Ka- Chameleon came to record his first album. Nobody knew any Tanzanians. He came from, to Kenya. I think yeah. From Uganda to record his first album. Yeah. The, and and during when that time popped. there were yeah. very few Tanzanian songs that were hitting. I think the only person from Tanzania who was hitting during that period was Mr. Nice. 
Mr. Yeah, Ness was like one of yeah, the biggest Mr. Tanzania yeah. artists, yeah. and he was even exported to here, where we were listening to him. We were like, oh, ah, damn, this nigga is nice. He had the Kukukawa Panda. Yeah, that's like Kenya. Kenya. I no, thought that was Kenya. Actually, no. it's not Kenya. You see, and, and, and also yeah. Kikulacho. Yeah. Kiku. The, 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 during that time between 2000 and 2000 and 2000 and, and oh and also Saida Karoli was popping around that time. What was that? Saida, uh, it's a band. Oh, Saida Karoli was a yeah. It's I believe that it's, it's, not, a, it's one person. It's, no, a, it's a Oh, Saida Karoli. Saida Karoli. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. I thought you were talking about uh, that band that I think is the most touring band ever. I've forgotten its name. In from yeah from Kenya. Okay, yeah. So Saida Karoli with this song that Diamond sampled the other day. Salome. Salome. Oh, Salome yeah. is a sample of um When you wave when when you you know. Yeah, that song. Yeah. Like yeah. the Saida Karoli. I actually song. had Diamond use it and never paid the niggas. And oh, really? But the niggas came for his neck. And right? then yeah, they sued him and then he had to pay even much more. I think I think I think and, I read a hundred. And million. apparently he's not the one who wrote that song. It's the other nigga from, yeah so it was like Rivani this is a hit so we're was, all men <laughs> <laughs> was a few records right. like, oh the book is called Shades of Benga okay. oh it talks about Kenyan music all the way yeah so speaking of the golden age I think that is where we grew up as as young millennials I would like to assume yeah that is where we grew that is those were our tentative years what what, what is your oh. favorite song from that period of the, uh, the golden age the golden i i don't have a f- okay i have a favorite artist mm. but not a favorite well, let's talk about artists uh, i i think um flex was mm. pers- my personal best mm-hmm. wait what song is it that guy sing flex nyundo nyundo yangu itagonga yeah flex was one of <laughs> one of <laughs> let's say oh, let me oh, let oh. me give my top 3 <laughs> needless to say isa flex and there was a group uh, where the kleptomaniacs. Oh damn! Oh yeah. Those niggas were on fire. Yeah. Those are the amigos of them. <laughs> <laughs> the original. The original amigos. <laughs> yeah. And and I think I think ev- everyone from that period. I think was when did uh, twenty lips and the drop? Around two, four to five. Or, or bef- before. Before. I, I don't really know. Two, but two, two, yeah. I think that is when that song was dropping, and I think that was one of. The, one of the songs I enjoyed, Sandra. What is who is your favorite artist from, from the Golden Age? Mm. Two thousand. Okay, I don't have like favorite artist. Oh. Top three, even top yeah, three. Yeah, that's top three. Um, I think Kleptomaniacs, um, Amani, and then these wow. three girls who used to sing Tattoo. 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 Yeah. Actually, <laughs> Tattoo. I, I I recently met with one of them. Not personally like this. I just oh. saw her. <laughs> 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 the levels to this. She's currently working for I don't know. Yeah, for moment. some organization. Yeah, yeah, it's and really Kenyan, cool. and she's the CEO of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's wow. she's popping out here. Yeah. So the tattoo. Tattoo was really hot. Tattoo. It was a really hot. Actually, that that that's where that gave time. that gave us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that gave us the basis of our groups because there was claimed to many of the mm-hmm. tattoo. There was this Coca-Cola, like there were three people from a Coca-Cola uh, talent search. I've forgotten the name. Really? Yeah. They, did they even hit? Yeah, they hit. Uh. They had like at least three. I've just forgotten the name. Mm. And then there was the one Mustafa was in. Mm-hmm. There was that, yeah. and, and I think that was like that was really exciting. Grace, yeah. favorite. Happy unit. <laughs> but no, but that unit was started uh, like two or seven. Two or seven. Yeah. Because P unit is a protege yeah. of Noni. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. So basically, klepto. Actually, P unit were dancers to Nonini. They started as dancers. Oh. I've had this talk with Bonai before. Yeah. They started as Nonini's dancers, so they did a tour in Tanzania, I think, as dancers. And then when they came back, they started recording. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh huh. <laughs> so you're saying? Kleptomaniac, Isa, cool. Tattoo. Let me just say tattoo. I th- oh, damn. For me, I think there was. Juakali, I think I really liked Juakali. Hey, 
you really like with a passion. <laughs> so, I, I, I like, but I've not heard any of his recent yeah. music, or he doesn't have recent music that I am aware of. Let me say that. What? And he was, not he was, the, he was, he was like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was like the one who he was the one who gave, he's the one who gave us like the lines for then classic lines. Yeah. Then. And then there was um Bamboo. Bamboo had really nice music. That's Victoria Kimani. That's half Kenyan. Oh. I mean half oh. makeup, half Nigerian. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for shade. It's too early for shade. But anyway. Not my words. Okay, <laughs> so there is uh okay, so I have said Bamu, Juakali, and I think I really liked I really liked Kleptomaniacs. Or nameless. Yeah, nameless. I, I don't know when, who to say between the two. You remember his song one about people sleeping? I nameless. Yeah. Nothing's here, Miki. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no, really I like that song. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. I also really like that song because I, 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 I nameless, don't know. Nameless has been, has transcended the dialect. Yeah. Like, he's been that He's a legend. And, and yeah. that song he's sung with, um, Tanya of uh, Tahiti. Oh, yeah. Stumble. What's that song? I remember Sunshine. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the one they were flying some shit. Yeah, the, okay. the video that's, that's Habiba. Some... That's Habiba. Oh, yeah. It's not Tanya. No. no. But I think Tanya was, who's, who's who's was in one of those videos. That, uh, Sarah Hassan. Yeah, Sarah oh, Hassan. No. Yeah, I remember the song. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I really loved that song. My Nameless. Yeah. yeah. And, okay, from your, fa- from your favorite artist, what, what, is your, what is your favorite song? Flex was Nambayako. Mm, that was a really good song. Nambayako, and then um, Isa was Bumbatin. Yeah, hey, I also love that. Uh, that's, that's a hit. And then um, Kleptomaniacs was the one day in. The one that in a, like a heart. So yeah, nice. yeah, so that was awesome. Yeah. 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 Like, like, let me tell you about something. Heart boy. I really like uh, that song. I don't know why, but like. I, I, I've listened to it recently and I was like, holy shit. Th- that song was really um, grotesque. And it was raunchy. The lyrics were very raunchy. If you listen to them now with yeah, your adult yeah, mind, yeah, yeah. The, the lyrics are like something where you're like, oh my goodness, they were really talking about this. Because there's the summer where he's <laughs> like, at the, we've not even left and girls are already kneeling down. I, I, when I was. 10 years, 8 years old, I didn't know that's what that meant. <laughs> but, but now I'm like, oh damn, he really was talking about some shit and I'm like, okay, that's what really cool. He was saying, he was saying, um, I don't know, if, if I play the song, I'll, but he's something like, Mademo Shapi Gamagoti. So, and the, in the context that he said it, he really meant that girls were wangikuwa na lamba lolo kondani. Wait, wait, wait. I never understood what that means. Did that down go share? He's only patch. I mean, I think that's the only line I, am. I remember to me. There's a part in my damn Sijua. Was so good. Yeah, I remember that. And plus, that video is bomb. That, that, yo, video, that, was, video, that, yeah. yo, that video is really nice. Because of the way, even, I mean, that was like one of the best videos. Uh, f- even they had like yeah. a slow motion thingy. You remember, like a transition, they call it them a slow motion. You don't remember that part? <laughs> Right. We'll have to watch. We'll have to watch yeah. and see. Yeah, watch it. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have to watch, we'll watch it and see. But okay, so there's that. Okay, so for kleptomaniacs, Lepto- there's that one I wanted to say. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> then there's the one that Amani did with them. Yeah, yeah she's key. Yeah, yeah. Bad, the bad boy. boy. Bad. Oh, I remember that song. And then there were like three girls dancing at the back. My friends and I used to like pretend. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then um from Tattoo it was the one um oh you were. No 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 yeah. no. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Musioka did that. Yeah, Musioka produced that song. Hey, oh. that's dope. Or, or Musioka produced one of their songs, and I think it's that one. Hey, that's dope. Hey, because like, I Actually, remember. Actually, don't you remember any other song of theirs? Tattoo. Yeah. There's another one, there's another one. I can't remember how it was sung, but there's another one. You know, then you can make one song and even 
as in it last for two years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> then now there's two weeks, now there's two weeks. Because they know Charles Days and they play the TBTs. Yeah. <laughs> From you, your favorite artist. <laughs> I've never really been saying, he said it was Boomba Train, Klepto, it was that one swing to me. Tattoo, I only remember the Pirate Panda because I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, um, Jokali was this song with Sanai Pei. Eh, okay. oh. that song? But that was not the golden age. It was. It was. It was, it it was, was like when it was ending. Yeah, that was yeah. like among the last songs. But from the from the period itself, uh, Kiasi. 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 Because I, I, I don't that's know. The like, really song of ever night. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that, that's like that's it. like a really dope song from um, Nani. This other guy, brother Victoria. What's his Bumba. name? Bumba. Bumba. Uh, Bamboo. Bumba man. Bamboo. I think his favorite song was Compe. Bumba man. Compe was really, I really... You really, like Compe? Yeah. yeah. I really resonated with that song. I don't know. Oh, and, and who's this guy who sang under 18? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, damn. That was a really hot song. Like, who's he, that guy? Uh, Jim Watt. Watt. Oh. But like, Jim... <laughs> yo, all those guys were at... Um, all those people were performed at Ngoma Festival, right? All the people we've named, or at least most of them. Yeah, those Jim Watt, those Nameless, those Nonini. The Did Nations keep up? Uh, there was Mr. Lenny. Yeah, because most was, it was back to the... Yeah. That was shout out to um, Stalwart Entertainment. Shout out. Shout we out need out another, to Bruce. another edition. Shout out to Bruce. <laughs> shout out to Kids the Rapper. Mm. That was groundbreaking. That was really epic, that show. And I and I missed it for some bullshit reason. I don't even, I even regret not going for it. But anyway. It is on a Sunday. Saturday. 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 Next Saturday. Saturday. Something like that, she'll tell me. I've never been to any really? show. Hi, Abbas. Yeah. Okay, so um, <laughs> after 2005, there was. Wait, now that's when the song. disorganization started. Mm -hmm. And I think it began with. I mean, uh, I think one of the biggest problems I think Kenyans had or ha even have up to date is we rely too much on singles. Like, we, we never. No artist really puts in into their mind that I need a compilation of. I, I need work, a, a body of work to produce to put out there yeah. just like let me release this one song it will really hit and it will give me money and then after that we'll know yeah. what to do because i think if if people were releasing albums then i think we would be at a better place than we are now because given that there were that we have no albums to look back to from that period you only have i think the only the only album that we have is isa's album um what was it called N something nyumbani, nafik nimefika nyumbani or something like that. That was Issa's debut and last album. Man, Issa was really great. The only album. Mm -hmm. The only album. And so I think that was really, that was a really good album. And so... I That's why Issa is a goat. He knew he knew all this then. Yeah, yeah. 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 He even released an album. Like, yeah, he was only nigga releasing an album. Yeah, as in he released an album, and 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 you see, and he was. I think if Issa were alive today, I think he would be the greatest thing this country has ever has ever seen. Like literally the greatest nigga this country has ever seen. He'd probably be some yeah. multimillionaire. Yeah, yeah, and he was. He knew, he, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, and he knew the game then. Like, yeah, and you see, like, and. But now you see the fact that we don't have like bodies of work. If you call an artist to perform, now they only have like one song to perform. Uh, it's, it's a problem for us as an industry where you, you 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 don't even know what to listen to. When you want to listen to Kenyan music, you either listen to old things or just look for a few songs that are popping right now. Yeah. And 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 you and you're done and you have your feel like. Artists who release albums are very few and, and far. And you know, worst thing they just hit one nice song and then. Yeah, like um, like, like let's talk about um an artist who's done that, and we we and I really feel and I really usually feel for such artists because if you look at um Femi One, Femi One had the, she done what Matipito with Timmy uh, with Christoph. I think mm. yeah, Matipito yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah. that song was really hot, yeah. and that was only a few months ago. That's but a club song though. But she doesn't have any other song, and I don't think she can follow it up. The other song that she released was. A few week, months of, uh, like this year, the beginning of this year was uh, her and Major, mm -hmm. and also this guy. I think that album, uh, Jack on the Beat, that album thingy, it, it boils down to the labels and the yeah. executives and all that. Because if you have a good uh, man, not manager, um, you're assigned to a good album. I mean, you're assigned to a good. Uh, 
um, label, they will advise you to do an album. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they won't just ride on your success for a Because I feel like even my own day. Wow. My own day has nice songs. Yeah, but, but she has an album. Yeah. yeah, she has she another has. It's on my book. Uh, Go check it out. Oh, I should, I should definitely listen to it. <laughs> but then I also have another <laughs> thing with the marketing thingy. Because you, you find like Kenyan events by Kenyan artists. Like you don't get told. You're seeing, if you're seeing the poster today and then it's tomorrow. Yeah. So someone advertises this on Instagram today and it's tomorrow. And you're thinking like, yeah, that's why why that's why I was saying like, like these Kenyan ago. artists perform a lot. Like, in a week you can get so many. Yeah. Because uh, even Patricia can see her, like her stories all the time. She and I don't like her bench because she, she posts like when it's the next Wait, day. Wait, Patricia? Hours. Patricia Kihoro. Oh. But like, but she's a musician. No, yeah. but she attends. Yeah, she's she is okay, a musician. She too, yeah. How did you know about Patricia Kihoro? Uh, her 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 project. Project. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, so she's nothing, a musician. I don't know anymore. Her, no, project film. Patricia Kihoro. Yeah, yeah she was in she's, she's a girl who acted her hair. On her hair. I think. She acts, she sings, she's a radio she's presenter. She's a comedian. Yeah, she's a comedian. <laughs> you don't know, Patricia? Is that the girl with it's short hair? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Homeboy is radio. You know, the thing with the the thing with those uh kind of people like they they've not decided what they want uh huh mm. so, so you think that's I a feel problem. like she's all over by the way so mm. my problem is I, I will personally I will not consider as as, as, a, yeah. as a song thinking. song stress song song stress but, but a, she hasn't sung in a while though yeah then she's not personal yeah. she I think now she's focused on the radio and the comedy thing. She's yes, acting. Yeah, and the acting. There's this acting. new movie like with Kira uh, and Benoit. It's nice. Movie. It's really the rom com. Supermodel. No, the rom com. The one with Kira and Benoit. Yeah. Oh. You know what it's what called? Is Happy Wedding. Yeah. No, it's like, premiering this week, I think. Where? Where is it? Pre- we should go see the premiere. That's the the squad. I want to be around. But yeah, Maybe. it's premiering. Yeah, twenty first, twentieth and twenty first. That's next week. And the trailer is out. Oh my god, it's so good. I they released so a trailer one yeah. week before the movie. No, I think Has it been two, out? Two weeks or something. Yeah, but yeah. There, there's another premiere sometime back. It and then there's another like. And, and you see that's that's and that's another problem. Like we, I don't think we like really yeah. put a, enough effort into like exactly. promoting our things because like you'll find you find like an event is tomorrow. Yeah, as you say, an yeah, event is tomorrow. The poster drops today. today. But, uh, uh, I think uh, promoters and even the artists they they are working with what they have. Mm. So there's not enough money in the music industry. But what what the, what does you can't you can't promote a uh, billboard on billboards and everywhere with or influencers and, and you don't have that kind of budget. So to soul had okay, but that's you see. Soul. That's Sony Soul. <laughs> Sony Soul. They had, they had Sony Soul have a distribution with Sony. Sony. I don't know UMG. Mm-hmm. Those. That's that's truckloads of cash mm-hmm. anyway. Mm-hmm. And you can't promote uh, an event from uh, that. That's gonna be at Alchemist with a budget of over uh, I don't know one M. You see, it doesn't make sense. Muzoni drama queen. Oh, had her. Those are favors. Those are favors. Muzoni has. Those are favors. Muzoni can pull strings here and there because she. She's in the industry, Danny, Danny. Yeah, 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 she's really. Those are sometimes those are really favors. Interview her someday. Yeah, we need to get with only drama queen on here because her, her album that she she'll released, get on her. Man, she'll get on her. Yeah, she she has to. Yeah, and her album that she the thing with last month, I think the thing with MDQ, mm. she 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 sees like if you're doing something good. She'll see it and she'll appreciate it. Yeah. But now there's an extent to which she can help. MDQ, yeah. we need blankets and to come back if you're listening. <laughs> ben, <laughs> why? But it's actually my favorite event. Event. Like, and I think you see such events were meant to resuscitate the industry yes. or maybe give it more life. But all of a sudden they went away. She moved to Tan to Kampala and other East Rwanda. African can, countries to do it yeah, because I think either. Kenyans were just so full of shit that you can't sustain such a thing for the long term here. You see, and that's and that's another problem. Like we don't have, we don't like nobody thinks about longevity, and that is also a problem with our artists where the single will f- will sell for the next three or four months, and then after the single. There won't be any. There, you don't really don't have anything to go by. Yeah. Mm. So uh, we were at two six two seven. Yeah. Two six. Uh, most of the groups broke up because mm. uh, of one reason or another. Beginning with 
uh, beginning with kleptomaniacs. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they said, but in Yashin's case, he said like they're not broken up. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what they like yeah, to. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what they want you to believe. But they're broken up. If they're not making music, I don't think they are together. Yeah. Mm, and then I think P-Unit, Ilishikilia Sana, around 207 to 8 to 9. Yeah. And then what was I, their first song? <laughs> the first song was they Kari. Had was, was it Kari? No. Kushotokulia. I don't know. I don't know oh, the, the first song exactly, but uh, probably it's one that we don't know. Probably. The, the, yeah, oh, this, this song with DNA. DNA. And then yes. um, this song with DNA. What was it called? It's one with Nonini, probably not. Yeah, it's one with. But this so, one with Una Jam Una. That was way later. That yeah. was way later. And then uh, around 2009, 2010 is when Saudi Soul came up, and they have been in the game since then. But yeah. they were struggling at first, and but then, um, they got a foothold of everything. And yeah, I I, I I don't know. This might sound uh, like salty. I'm salty and all, <laughs> but Saudi so Soul is a project of the West. It's an industry plant. Expound. That is that is a very interesting yeah, like, conspiracy theory. Expound. <laughs> Let me expound. <laughs> Saudi so Soul when they were starting, mm-hmm. yes, they had the appeal. Yeah. They had everything. The but boy band, band, the boy band appeal. The boy band appeal. Mm-hmm. People like their music. They have good music. They have good music. But if you dig deep, mm. you look. The first video was sponsored by Gote Institute, if I'm not wrong. Mm. Lazizi. Yeah, mm. Lazizi. Mm-hmm. Aniko is there. Like, uh, okay. Aniko, Aniko is in, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not saying they should not have been sponsored by the West or mm-hmm. whatever. Mm. But anyway, so uh, yes, they were doing good until 2012, but they were struggling. Mm. And then Marek came. The their man is he, is he still their manager? Yeah. Mm. Without Marek, there's no such soul. And those Marek, a guy from LA. Los Angeles. But, mm-hmm. but would you blame them? With, with I'm not. I really can't even. Now know. this. That's yeah. why I'm saying this should not sound salty. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a project of the West. They have uh, distribution with Sony. With Sony. So with them, they have an advantage over every artist. Mm. And according to me, they should not be doing these simple numbers they're doing. Mm. Yeah. They should not be doing. They should have like taken over even Africa. Africa, yes. Africa, like, yes. They're and still struggling. The, yeah, I think they are. To take over Africa, they're they still struggling. They, they, yeah. They, yeah. yeah. But I think They haven't reached that point well, like, like as in, they're, they're, they're charging, I don't know how much for a feature, uh-huh. like the video status, yeah, you yeah, see? Yeah. So uh, that's my own theory though, but, and then from 2010, I, I can't really name any iconic because people come and fall off, come and fall off, come and fall off. Who, who would you say at, in 2010, up to now, short promise and they just faded away? Short promise? Mm. Uh, I would say Giuliani. Giuliani. Well, but Giuliani, Giuliani is a gospel artist. But I, I he, he, still, he said he's not. Those that's like... Yeah, he had, he had that story. Yeah. The, that story for is he a gospel artist or not yeah. came up. And Nick, like niggas didn't even know what to say. Cause there's even one was saying like at he, like he's a motivational How many international? Okay, how many international features that has he done? I don't think he has any or that I know. Who's this guy? Then, I don't know his name. then he wasn't planning on expanding out of Kenya. Yeah. I think, but I think he showed put some potential. Okay, yeah, yeah. There, like, be, there are many people like a name who showed yeah, potential. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm from 2010. From, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's this lady. I think the unit fell off. Yeah, actually, they, they had like. Let me let me happened. let me explain to you what P Unit happened. P Unit, actually, there was a time. Actually, P Unit, you know, are the ones who gave the cosign to. They cosigned um, Saudi so mm. or oh, gentleman. Yeah. Mm. They actually brought Saudi because P Unit at that time they were doing shows and they are booking is everywhere mm. everywhere. They won a Mama Award. Yeah. Twenty ten. Like best African uh, mm. group, mm. Uh, yeah. They did the gentleman jam, and then Saudi Soul got that manager, and then everything. Now I don't know why they decided to split or why they decided to not continue being hot, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but they decided. You see, mm. and in my opinion, I think they are right now. They are, they are not together as a unit. I don't. I don't think they 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 even have like. Are there songs that? Okay, you know Wabe, 
is yeah, one is like let's say that is like but the last song by two thirds of them. Yeah, who wasn't in that song? Bonai. Bonai. And you see, and and that was like oh. one of the last songs that by at least people from there. So that's know. that's dead. We can we can put them that. And I think at they be unit, not the individual. Yeah, yeah. Members. As a group, I think they are done, and they might try to do a comeback thing. No, Soon. take it from me. They're not gonna do any. Uh, Frasher is he was running for MCA. <laughs> wow. How did that go? Where? I, I he if he was MCA, would have known. Okay. But Bona Jaguar is Bona is a business. Why would you want Jaguar to sing? I'm just asking. Because you're talking about like artists. No. Why would Why would you want him to sing again? Let him stay in politics. No, I feel like he should stay in music and not politics. No, but Jaguar had politics. like a hit. He had a hit, but he had a hit. But those. Kigeo Geo. Ah. And this song he. After one centim, that one ah, centim. Kigeo Geo is his biggest. He's his biggest. But so. the, what I'm saying is. Come on, let's not let like each like other. Jaguar's other. music is whack as fuck. Like, all his songs sound the same. It's okay, no problem. But he had a hit, but yeah, I think he had one hit. He took the blueprint from Kigeo Geo and now made every other song. Every other song, another, like he's Kigeo trying to, to get another Kigeo Geo from Kigeo Geo. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like Cardi trying to get another, another Bodakielo. She, she has another Bodakielo. <laughs> Which one? It's called mm, uh, Money Bags. Listen to my new album. That's I've I've had the whole album. A, a exact copy of of like as in, But imagine when you hear the imagine, imagine the all the songs, all the songs Cardi's tries to make. The, I like she's trying, she's trying to. It doesn't make Would sense. You blame her? I don't think you can blame anybody because everyone. That, what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense. Yeah, but I, I think that, and I think that's a problem with art, artistry where you where you do something and it works. Yeah. And all of a sudden you want that, to yeah. because you have a formula and you see that's why people, some of the even the biggest biggest artists in the world like Drake I think he's fallen prey to that he's fallen prey to a, a sound like a sound that we expect from him and that's why people like other great art, now the greatest artists alive and transit generations will will still be there and will forever be there there's no Kanye West album that sounds the same all Kanye's albums are different. Sonically, the direction of the music, all of them are different. And and you see such and but for m- many artists, like if you hear Whiskey song, you know it's Whiskey. Because of even how he sounds, the the melodies is easy, the rhyme patterns he's using. If you hear I think in Kenya can, so can you tell us how to solve song? No. Just at, maybe that voice at sense, but not really. Who, who? Okay, yeah, voice, you'll know yeah, a certain song. Yeah, the voices. I mean, you like, know. you'll just know them. Who who would you say in Kenya has a signature sound? Like, if you just hear... Billy Paul. How would you put it? As in, when I hear a song starting for the first, like, when one minute has not started, I'm, like, switching it off. Like, <laughs> no, I just know that this Paul. is a Billy Paul song. Okay. Why do you dislike him? Mm. And he's one of the best artists. And he's he is. probably one of the I best-selling know. artists. Even best. He is. Best-selling, yeah. yeah. Even best. He's probably artist. overbooked. What? Even best artist. Overbooked. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's and I think I, I have. He's he's probably one of the most played on radio. Industry rumors. He's signing to Asafi Records. He has a song with harmonizer. Yeah, that's what he wanted since the beginning. Those are those are Victor rumors. No, that's, okay. that's nothing. Yeah, that's but like if if I he was he signed to uh, Wasafi, he would have known. No, I'm saying he's going. He wants to sign to Wasafi. I, he has a song with harmonizer right now. I think your issue sounds me. It it still boils down to. Is it, I don't I don't think he's a gospel musician. Yeah. <laughs> and but is he still singing? Hey. Bahati, Bahati is is like uh, is Bahati, Bahati has a ch- he's, he's has a child right now, so maybe Good for him fatherhood is 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 doing. Eh, speaking of Bahati, that story for another day. Mm. So I think for him, for him, he's he's now focusing on fatherhood and not Bahati is focusing on fatherhood right now, so he's not about to release any any music anytime soon at least by my estimation because that was a scandal he's not that bad oh, oh. yeah oh, wow Damn. no but that's really interesting i wouldn't <laughs> i don't know i wouldn't be surprised 
Because now there was another guy now. He's a famous guy. I don't remember his name. Just wow. since, like another Kenyan? Kenyan, yeah. Saying he is the dad. Wow. That's like the Kainjana crisis. Mm. <laughs> exactly. But, but like, they said, in, the, in that story, they said uh, Tiger wouldn't. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. The, father, the alleged father can't take up because he knows the truth. But that's yeah. besides the point. And, and, and you see, like, such drama... But I think you cannot, uh, apart from Willie Paul, I don't think there's anybody. But I, I think if you listen to a few Kenyan songs, you can tell. I think you can tell a that song. I don't know who Timothy that, unless I hear the song. <laughs> Maybe I've heard the song like in a matter two or in the club or something. But Timothy no, that is like one of the best, uh, biggest artists out right now. Let me tell you, I didn't even know Cranium. I don't even know Cranium. Until I heard he's coming, then okay, I, I just listened to those songs, but I didn't know they were for Cranium. You until, went for his concert? No, I didn't. Mm. See, until I knew he's coming, and then I saw the concert. Ni, 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 ni. Yeah. What? Hey, hey. Hiya. Cranium is the one who sings these songs. <laughs> like, oh, you knew the songs, but you didn't yeah, know who they yeah, were by. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that happens from time to time. It happens from time to time. Yeah. So, by the way, um, this thing of the IPK hashtag, IPK, I was thinking, like, is it an issue of everyone wants to be a photographer right now? Or is it like a face? I don't or, know how it just popped up. No, because I'm thinking like, because even in music, like, sometimes I feel like everyone wants to be a musician. Mm. Everyone wants to be a photographer. Everyone mm. wants to be like these creative things even if they don't have what it takes to be mm. that. Mm. I don't know, but the, 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 the issue with, with the Ifiki Wazazi, I think began as a very legitimate concern of by photographers of like, uh, no, this shit shouldn't be happening. Because there's these young people who want to be photographers, but then they want to take photos that they see people abroad take. And <laughs> you know, so everyone wants, like from in high school, like right now, everyone wants to be a creative, but they mm. don't know what it takes to be a creative. Yeah, yeah. And, and you see, like, even I even had this discussion yesterday with my sister, and I was telling her, for me, the only problem I had with, I mean, the only thing I saw with, not problem, the only thing I saw with all this scandal or the whole of this fiasco was, for me, it was where the photos were being taken, the, lo the location of the shoots. I don't think the photos themselves are. Okay, for the Wazazi part, obviously the parents have an issue with yeah, their photos. True. I don't think they There's this girl um, who released like a video Obviously, she was in high school, and then she was like, "Ati, if I want to take photos showing off my body, you should just give me the right to do but that." But that's true. That's oh, I true. Saw, and then she was reading some hashtags. Is it that chick? Yeah. She was watching the videos, I think, and then she had like a tongue piercing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Time. But I think no. But I think. Friends are making fun of her. Ati, oh, you're talking like this, and they're reading hashtags on the paper you've written down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's. But you know, I think the main issue with people is that these people are underage. And I think that is where I yeah. also come in and say these people are. Unmatched. And the photos are not that good quality. But let's start. I have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> like it makes my brain feel like. This but who like Chokorongo. My sister told me that it is uh, adults who are taking these photos. That's for sure. Oh. And that, and I think that is the problem. I yeah, have that the is the whole thing. But yeah, if it was just a, a bunch of kids doing their own things, just like don't do that shit in town. Just take it somewhere else. But like now, all of a sudden, you have responsible adults taking photos in Nairobi. But you know, so, Kenya, we've not yet reached that point where people like can openly take like photos like that. Good photography. Yeah, because even the Saudi Soul thingy was banned, and you were wondering like why the hell was it? Because Kenya, we haven't reached that. No, but I, if if we talk about that, I think it's it was really pretentious of us to like say, oh, we are burning this song. Because if you ask me, it was really misplaced. Because um, yeah. Let's see. Do you, when that song was dropping, that's 2014. If there was uh, it was. There was when that it wasn't me video. You remember that? No, was there was Nana. Oh, oh they yeah, and they yeah. dropped and they dropped uh, and they dropped one month apart. One dropped literally in March, the other dropped in 
and the problem I had is why the hell am I seeing Nana and Nishike is the same yeah. exact video yeah. but you're telling us since at your moral police you can't play this yeah. on TV mm. during the watershed period I was like that's that was really pretentious and for me I think that is where we are as a nation a, a, a bunch of hypocritical yeah. people <laughs> where we like we, we pour our outrage to things that don't really matter or like things that are how can we say it like that, does it really matter that uh, those photos by those kids yeah it's kids and that is the problem that is the where problem number one yeah. and problem number two is who was taking who was in charge of all these things if it was like children by themselves but like i think that one of the things i saw because some of those photos were really old but there's the, 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 there's the bunch that of photos that were taken in in town where there are girls, girls lying down, yeah. there are people grinding on the street. Yes. Um, okay, let's talk about the ones in Nairobi. People grinding on the street and girls lying down. As photos, and as what is really the problem with them? First, the photo quality is so bad. No, no, as, okay, <laughs> let's talk Two. a bit as a, as a concept Two. of a photograph. Okay, like a concept? Of a photograph. <laughs> Like concept like like as in is there anything wrong in the concept of the photograph yeah okay there's nothing okay. wrong because I, I also like like watching like like seeing photos where people are free with their bodies and they're like but, but that whatever that yes doing, yes exactly that is the thing <laughs> whatever that they were doing apart from the location and the properties which i still <laughs> uh, uh -huh. It was more like their kids, you know. Yeah, I think that is You're not where, used to seeing. And I yeah. think that is the that was. You're the used to the Instagram, the you know, the Instagram models mm -hmm. and the things, it's and people good. with with their husbands and stuff and doing that, and, and it looks good because even the setting, it's like I don't even know. It's town. It's a public <laughs> place, so you can imagine passing and then seeing people do that but, in their kids and their kids or whatever. Um. A hundred percent, we can we can all agree that those photos were taken on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, true. There's no way that there's no way that bullshit could have gone on. Have you ever passed those sides on side? Because like there's a time also had like a photo shoot that side on a Sunday, mm. and ah, by the time it reached like four, like afternoon going to evening, mm. and, like, that place was packed with all sorts of people. People wearing. <laughs> with one of the musicians mm. taking videos of Anna and like but like everyone is doing dancing. It. Nairobi is a free seat everyone does what they want is it that free yeah. if, we, if we are discussing this is it free I don't think it is because <laughs> all of a sudden yeah. photography in Nairobi is in danger because of these kids yeah. and what they were doing now there's that if you kill a toto <laughs> oh the, the photos of the parents yeah, but the like parents. I think the, 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 and, and I think that's a problem and, and even like even relating to what photos of the parents like now we see the, there are photos of kids now they oh. start producing photos of parents, parents that you think you to but that. in my mom's time they used to wear shorts so comfortably yeah. and, and, I, and i kept saying and this going and to i kept concerts. saying this and i kept saying and no, people are bashing me that even in the house she's like <laughs> yeah. and i think like your photo <laughs> 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 but like as in okay now the thing is with this fake outrage, even spilling over to the music industry is that we like never really like appreciate like nice songs that are yeah. there. We wait until moments where a Kenyan musician does some shit and then yeah. all of a sudden we are up in arms. Let's talk about this week has been crazy. This is today is April 14th. So like okay, if you listen to this like the week preceding April 14th, today's a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that, like, there's this Timmy that story that broke from the Mr. Easy concert. Yeah. And, um, okay, let's let's see. We, we had Timmy T that apparently called a fan on stage. And she went. She went. Mm -hmm. She danced. She danced. And <laughs> in, the middle, in the midst of that, she, so she was wearing, um, what, what do we call them? This long, I mean, okay, let's the say. The bodycon kind yeah. of like dresses. Yeah, like okay, like, I'll say a long dress. Yeah. And with those with slits. And I think when um, I, well, most people I have seen wearing that mm -hmm. usually have something under, uh, like a trouser or stockings or something. 
No, not really if you're going out at night, no. Uh, okay, I, okay, the ones <laughs> I, okay, maybe I'm not seeing. I like to make matters worse. Well, it's body count, so most girls like go commando. Yeah. So now, <laughs> lucky for her, she was wearing a thong. So Timmy that like, was like, okay, let me lift and see. And I, if if it were me, I would have thought she had something else under there. So he lifted the skirt, and now that is where the outrage begins because most videos that we saw ended there, ended with him yeah. lifting the skirt and her turning and now all of a sudden everyone is like oh why the fuck did Timmy Chida do that mm-hmm. why the fuck what the hell Kenya men should respect women this is why we are talking about mm-hmm. rape culture yeah. watch the whole entire video yeah. if that happens two seconds later the girl goes back to be editing on the guys she oh. should have slapped him or something or pushed him and jumped something. on the nigger yeah. she literally jumped on the nigger like in the whole video me I was like I couldn't have flexed <laughs> <laughs> no 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 no, no. <laughs> and I think and I think and and this is me. If you really watch that video closely, Timmy see that she's really shocked when she jumps on him. He literally had to put her down because there's no way you can just like all of a sudden jump on somebody. And yeah. and clearly, how, the, there was a there was a problem with him lifting. I, no, yeah, let me say was. the problem was okay. <laughs> can we say no? Let's say this on a, on a very serious note. If that girl had something under there like a, a short or trousers, that would have never tights. That would not be. That would not yeah. have been any problem. Yeah. The problem is yeah. let no. As it is, the truth of the matter is, if she had worn something under, that would not be. That would not have been a problem. But the, that the fact that she was like she only had her her panties. A song for that matter is where the problem really is, but no one else is discussing that she like literally jumped on the nigger. People nigga. drive on like artists like the the dramas. Like, but what, do, what what does that say about us? And 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 back to the point. But sometimes it makes the artist more popular. Because like the really popular. whole thing is, is he is he a Christian artist or is he a secular artist? It's maybe more popular than his because everyone wants to listen to his next song to know if it's Christian or it's secular. Yeah. I, I don't I don't know but like me this timidity that story really, really had me triggered because I was like oh my goodness like okay yeah he was wrong but that's where the where his wrongdoing ends there like it mm-hmm. ends at him lifting the skirt and finding that oh my goodness this girl really has nothing under but I don't think it would have been a smart move regardless <laughs> regardless of whether she had anything or not to really lift up that skirt I think that was a wrong move by him lifting the skirt but I think if she had something under, we would be like, oh, this is how men mistreat women. But it wouldn't be like all the outrage that we have now. Okay, but is it really mistreating women? Because... You should have seen Peter that morning. But she, Okay, I feel like it's wrong. Yes, but in a concert. Like, have you ever seen the MJ concerts? Girls used to throw themselves at him. Yeah. Even used to harass them. Sometimes when, like... Have you watched, like, some of, this, some of these, some of these, some of these songs concerts and these are R&B mm-hmm. musicians? Like, like, me, like, like, they, they, like, like you will actually yeah. see people. <laughs> it's close to, like, dry humping and having sex on stage. And, and, and all of a sudden, we want... We, I mean, many Kenyans want to be part of that. Oh, if it was, if it was Trey Song, oh, I would be so. Especially the Michael Jackson concert. Oh, oh I would God. be so if it was like uh, somebody, an American artist, but now all of a sudden it's a Kenyan, and then you're like, mm. yeah. So all of a sudden we are outraged, and yeah, yeah. and I get the outrage, but I'm I don't sure think... a thousand of you guys, if Rihanna came here, you guys would even remove your box. <laughs> <laughs> but I, okay, I don't know. Practically, if Chris Brown came. Okay. And like, I, and I was going on stage, and one of those people were trying to kiss him. It's crazy in that way because you know, like, I mean, what? And and that was, and and I think that is a moment in the Kenyan industry, at least up to this year. I think that's the first big scandal we've had. Because I woke up that, that morning, I'm like, everyone on Twitter is like, oh, what Timmy Tida did was wrong. Like, yeah. What the fuck did this nigga do? I go okay, think also the timing, because you know, like right now, the, the end rep thing is so... Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, but they came at that yeah. time when... Okay, yeah, so I think it was just a combination yeah. of any <laughs> <anything> things <laughs> that just <laughs> went, went wrong for him. Yeah. But I don't think anybody... Uh, we, yeah, the outrage was... We were supposed to be outraged that he's trying to lift somebody's car mm-hmm. but like i think i sh- we should also be out- like okay but if we are really to look at this matter objectively did did the girl really handle herself well no no she didn't me i have, have pushed the guy and went slapped him on stage i don't care but the fact that 
she like literally i think speaks more to her yeah, that's why, like, maybe if like she was a fan or something that's what i'm saying like an mj concert like chris brown concert me i would throw myself on like <laughs> and you see and 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 with that minor infraction of timothy <laughs> that he's now catching all the slack but nobody's yeah, talking no about the ladies the, con- yeah. the ladies conduct because i think if somebody if something like that happens to you you're supposed to walk off stage like yeah. really fast but she went back and yeah. And jumped with the guy. It's like he was giving her a go ahead. Yeah, it's like <laughs> oh my goodness, it's it's really crazy. Are we, is that all we are to discuss today? Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. it was more than what I was to discuss. Yeah, but like Pepper had to go deal with some issues, so yeah. now it's just me, Victor, Grace, and Sandra, mm-hmm. and this is a pilot. Maybe you'll never, maybe you'll get to hear this. Maybe they'll never. <laughs> maybe they'll never get to hear this, but mm-hmm. we'll be enjoying this yeah. <laughs> by ourselves uh, someplace. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, what is, this is, what is this? Oh, mm-hmm. so your social media? The Malkia Diaries, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, everything. Grace Una. On? on Instagram, Twitter is Sif, Sif Una. I changed my Twitter account mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. Sif Una. SoundCloud, Grace Una. G Una. Mm. Oh, SoundCloud. Sandra <laughs> Martini. Oh. For, uh, I, for me, it's Mega Muya on everywhere. If you go on any website and search Mega Muya and find a profile, <laughs> it's probably me. Okay, it should be me. Yeah, it should be. You. So yeah, that is me on on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I uh, know I'm not on Facebook. Fuck Facebook. What? Yeah, fuck Facebook. So on on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat also. Yeah. So this has been what is this? See you guys another day. See you. We should, we should definitely look for an intro and outro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but like that's that's the story for another day. So bye guys. Bye. See you. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Quite heavy.